amigos! Bienvenidos a este nuevo video. I'm Hannah from Speak Better Spanish, and today we're going to be talking about common illnesses and symptoms in Spanish. So hopefully you don't get sick when you are traveling in a Spanish-speaking country, but just in case you do, it's good to have a couple of these prepared and have them familiar in case you need them. All right, let's get to it. La gripe means flu. La gripe. La diabetes. Diabetes. La diabetes. El asma. Asma. El asma. La infección. La infección. Infection. La alergia. Allergy. La alergia. El dolor de cabeza. Headache. El dolor de cabeza. La migraña. Migraine. La migraña. La tensión alta. High blood pressure. La tensión alta. El dolor de espalda. El dolor de espalda. Back pain. La fractura de hueso. Bone fracture. La fractura de hueso. El cansancio, or la fatiga, fatigue, or tiredness. El cansancio, or la fatiga. La diarrea, diarrhea. Hopefully that doesn't happen to you. La diarrea. La inflamación de garganta, throat inflammation. La inflamación de garganta. Los mareos. Dizziness or nausea. Los mareos. La tos. Cough or coughing. La tos. So hopefully you don't have any of these issues. If you do, the good news is that in many parts of the world that are not the United States, you can actually go to the pharmacy and get quite a variety of different medications over the counter at a reasonable price, whether or not you have insurance, whether or not you've seen the doctor. And sometimes at the pharmacy, you can actually just get a walk-in appointment with the doctor. So. That's very nice. Um, hopefully you won't get sick, but if you do, we've got some helpful vocabulary here to help you guys communicate. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao!